My parents have a pretty fun job producing music videos and kids TV. This latest video they're working on has singer-songwriter Jeffrey Straker singing and playing a baby grand piano while he's falling through the air. To do this, we shot him hanging from a stunt harness in a visual effects studio on a green screen. Then later, we digitally removed the green, erased the wires, and added sky and clouds and sun. At the end of the song, Jeffrey hits the final chords, and then he f separates from the piano and floats into outer space, leaving the piano behind. And then the piano comes crashing down to the ground at the end of the song. And that's our challenge. How can we get a baby grand piano and drop it and smash it into a thousand pieces? After talking about it over and over and going back and forth, they figured out that they would need to get a large crane and then hang the piano over the spot that they wanted to film, release it on cue, and hope it smashes nicely. Yeah, we weren't really going to do any of that. A crane's like crazy expensive and we would have had to destroy the piano forever and the ground would get all messed up. But then, Sam came up with a pretty good solution. Then I thought, wouldn't it be easier just to build a miniature scale model of the piano out of thin wood? We could just make it look like a real piano, but it would be small enough and light enough that we could just drop it off a ladder. We visited Maker Labs, which is a really cool makerspace in Vancouver. A makerspace is a place that has all sorts of machines, tools, and the materials you need to build just about anything. So our plan is to laser cut these thin pieces of plywood and then loosely glue them together so then they fall out and explode. And then we will cut out all of these piano keys so then those will just fly out and explode. No big deal. Julie is a professional fabricator. It's a fabricator's job to figure out how to build just about anything out of any material. She's kind of used to people coming to her with weird requests like ours. For the curved sides of the piano, Julie recommends that we create what's called a live hinge, which is basically hundreds of small slices in alternating rows. When it's done, the wood can be bent into any shape. So this whole fabrication process should take three or four days from beginning to end. And first we're going to build it out of cardboard as a prototype before we actually cut the wood. That's a good idea. Once we had the cardboard prototype assembled, we could see that our design would fit together. Then we cut up some sheets of plywood to feed into the laser cutter. All we have to do is upload our design to the laser cutter. It will precisely cut out our design while we wait. I could watch the laser cutter all day. The laser cutter pretty much cut every single piece of our piano. Now that the pieces are cut, we get to build our model. You can see how well the live hinge worked out for the curve section. Once it's painted, you won't even see the cuts. So for the piano keys I'll be doing is we'll be laser cutting this acrylic material and each key will be cut individually so then when the piano hits the ground, all the piano keys will just fly off. Before we go any further, we'll have to test drop the model to see if this plan will even work. things that we learned from that test drop was that the live hinge just kind of flopped out like it was elastic. So we added this wood filler so then hopefully it'll crack. Oh, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. This is the final step. We've been working on this the entire day. What we're doing is we're staining the piano so then it'll look exactly like the piano that was from the music video. Okay, 
So that was great. The piano fell exactly where we wanted to. It smashed even better than we even expected. And my parents are really happy. And what's really cool is we learned that using a scale model, you can actually make something look better and use less waste and have more control over it. And that's pretty awesome.